This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. I'm Chris Gasper, and the season that sports fans have been waiting for is finally here, the playoffs. That's right, it starts tonight with the Bruins taking on the Montreal Canadiens at TD Garden, and then you have the Celtics facing off against the Knicks on Sunday at TD Garden. Two tremendous traditional rivalries to start the playoffs, and really, we've all been waiting for these playoffs for a very long time. The regular season simply prologue for both the Bruins and the Celtics after the way their seasons ended last year. You remember that, of course. Very painful losses for both teams. The Bruins, a historic collapse against the Philadelphia Flyers in the second round, blowing a 3-0 lead, and the Celtics losing Game 7 of the NBA Finals out in Los Angeles. They were this close to banner number 18, and they couldn't get it. But finally, both teams have a shot at redemption. My expectations for the Bruins, as you look at this playoff season for them, is that they will make the Eastern Conference Finals. Everybody is sick of them going out in the second round. Claude Julien probably needs to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals to keep his job. Cam Neely, the president of the team, has gone on the record and said he feels like his team has top four talent in the NHL. So a lot of pressure on the Bruins players and coach Claude Julien to reach the Eastern Conference Finals for the Bruins for the first time since 1992. This really could be the last roundup for the Celtics when you think about it. I had an opportunity to talk to Danny Ainge and he mentioned that that's something that has been discussed. Remember now, Doc Rivers, everybody thought that he was going to leave after the Celtics lost the finals last year in Los Angeles. They were able to coax Doc back to the bench. Ray Allen ended up re-signing and the band was reunited. But really, Celtics are an older team outside of Rajon Rondo. And this really could kind of be their last opportunity to get that second championship with this group. A lot of pressure on the Celtics. They kind of remind me of the kid that procrastinates on doing that big, big assignment. During the regular season, they seem to get bored. It's only when they absolutely positively have to have it that they turn it on. And right now, they absolutely positively have to have it.